Alright, if you've ever wanted to find something from the command line, then you might have heard of these two commands, find and locate. And those work fine if you're trying to find a file. But the problem with these commands that you hear often recommended is just that they're really slow. So if you use find or locate to try to find one of your files, then for me at least, it can take up to 10 or 20 seconds just to find a simple file. And it was just painful for me anytime I tried to use one of these commands. So what I found here instead, plocate, is actually much faster than something like locate. And it does so just by improving the method that it uses to find the files. And I'm not going to pretend like I understand all of this jargon right here. Uh, you don't need to understand it either. Just take my word for it that it's much faster than your ordinary locate command. All right, so let me just go ahead and show you how to find files on your command line. So first off, you'll want to install plocate. Now, by default, I think it's in most official repositories. So I know if you're on Arch, Debian, Ubuntu, you can just install it from the main repository. So at least on Arch Linux, I'm going to install it with Pac-Man right here. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. But if you're not on one of these systems, you might have to go to the website and download it and build it yourself. Just keep that in mind. But let's go back to the command line. Now, once you have it installed, you might be thinking that you can go plocate right away. But before you actually do that, if you run one of these commands, then you're just going to get an error right away. And that's because of the way that locate works. So going through every single file on your computer would just take way too long. So what locate does is it kind of builds a database of every single file on your computer first. And then whenever you run the command, then it goes through the database to quickly find what you're looking for. So it doesn't have to go through your entire file system. And the way that you generate that database that it looks through is with the update db command. So let me run sudo update db. This command comes with locate. So if you don't have a database file yet, you're going to want to push enter on that. It's going to take about a minute or so. It's going to index every single file on your system, or at least the ones that are accessible to your user. And then it's going to put that all in a database file that I'll show you later. OK, but once you run that database command, you might be wondering, what if you add additional files after you've already written the database? And the update db command is automatically run every day by default, I believe. And I think that's done with a systemd command. It automatically sets this all up for you, so you don't really need to worry about any of this. Just know that every day it will update automatically for you. Yeah, so it's automatically run from a systemd timer. So it'll be up to date most of the time, but if you want to manually do it, then you can just run this command uh, sudo update db, of course. OK, so once we have the database ready, we are now able to use plocate. I personally don't like the P on in front of this, so let me just make this easier with an alias. Let me just alias locate to plocate. You can put this in your shell configuration file, of course. OK, and now we can run locate. So let's just pass in any file right here. And let's say I want to find a file on my system called contact.astro. So I can hit enter, and in milliseconds, it'll tell me exactly where this is. It is in all these directories, and it's right here, contact.astro. Now this is case sensitive by default, so if it's uppercase, then you won't find it. But you can do that by adding this I option, and that will make it case insensitive. So we can find, let's say, we want to find counter.jsx. This is uppercase, so normally we wouldn't find it. But since we have the dash I option, then it will find it. As you can see, it is uppercase. If you want a little bit more control over your search, then you can also use regex. And you can do it with the dash R option. And so let's just put in some basic regex here in order to find a directory. So let's say I have a directory called astro test. And then I will put in this dollar sign at the end, which is regex's way of saying end of line. So find anything where slash astro test is the end of the line. And this will just find this uh, directory name, because as you can see, the directory name is going to be the end of the line, of course. If we were to not use regex, that would give us a whole bunch more, something like this, a whole bunch of different files. But this is an easy way to find directories right here. And regex searches will be a bit slower than normal searches, just because it's not able to use the new method for searching. It has to manually go over the entire list and search them with the regex command. So just keep that in mind that that might be a little bit slow, but it's not too bad for me. So now let's go over the count command. Maybe you're searching for something and you have a million and one results. So if I search for this, well, I don't know how many results just popped up and I don't want to scroll all the way back. So what I can do is 
I can just add the dash C option and that'll tell me exactly how many results it found. 1,755 is kind of a lot. So maybe you only wanna see the first 20 and you can do that with the dash L option. Let's say we only wanna get the first 20 and here we have the first 20. That already makes it very easy to find everything we want but you might wanna narrow down your search a little bit more. Maybe, for instance, I don't want to find anything in my .config directory. I just want to exclude this folder completely from the locate function. So what you can do is you can go into, let's open up Vim or your favorite text editor, but you can go into slash Etsy and update db.conf. This will open the configuration file for your update db command. And you can basically tell it which files or which folders you don't want it to go through. So right now I already have the .cache directory. We don't really want to search in there. It's not really useful to me at all. And we can also just go through and add the uh, .config folder like I was talking about. Maybe I don't want to search there at all. And you can even put in file types here. So it's not going to get any .get files. That's good because I don't really want to search in for, through there. But you can just add as many file types as you want and it will skip all of those. And then of course, in order to update this database, you're going to want to run the sudo update db command again. And this is going to be just a minute. All right, the database has been updated. So we should be able to do the same thing that we did before and none of these .config files will show up. Let's see if that works. Let's get the first 20 of ZSH. And as you can see, none of the .config folders are being picked up now because we told it to skip that. And that's really all there is to using plocate as you can see, it's a very simple command and it's very easy to quickly find files that I'm looking for. It'll search your entire file system and you won't have the same leg that you would with uh, traditional Unix locate command, which is a pretty ancient command. I think it's been around since the 80s. So if you want to speed things up, I would download plocate and find whatever file you want whenever you want in just milliseconds.